back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to switch things up a little bit and show y'all my cozy Christmas night routine. I know that y'all are used to seeing me do like homemaking, decor, and cleaning content, but I really wanted to just stop and share with y'all the ways that I relax too. I'm not constantly cleaning, and it's especially important during the Christmas season to just stop and relax and enjoy the Christmas tree lights, enjoy your TV a little more than normal. So in tonight's routine, we're going to be making hot chocolate, taking a bubble bath. My husband is bringing home Chinese takeout and I am so excited I don't have to cook tonight and then I also I want to share with y'all one of my new favorite recipes and it's a funnel cake recipe I'm so excited about this because we missed our trip to the state fair this year due to COVID so I'm excited to bring that into our house and we're also going to make it festive by adding Christmas sprinkles and all of that jazz so lots of fun just cozy and Christmassy things in this video if you enjoyed today's video make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you are not already subscribed and you love all things homemaking and decorating and cleaning and then the occasional lifestyle video make sure to hit that red subscribe button below I would love to have you but let's go ahead and get this cozy night started My favorite thing to do when I get home from work in the afternoon is to change out of my work clothes and just get comfortable. And then once that's done, I'll go around the house and make sure all of the Christmas lights are on. I like to light a few candles and turn on a cozy Christmas movie to keep me company until Will gets home. And then I'll also kick the heat on and get ready to make dinner. However, on this night, I was trying so hard to just relax and not do anything. So I did call Will and ask him to bring home Panda Express so that we wouldn't have to cook and we could just watch Christmas movies and hang out. On this night, I just decided to watch Home Alone 2. I hadn't seen that one in a while, so we're gonna do that. And then right as soon as I turn that on, we'll walk through the door with Panda Express. So now we're gonna eat. Okay, I'm so excited because Will brought home Panda Express tonight. In just a second, I'll open my fortune and we'll see what it is. But every time we go to Panda, I get the same exact thing. I just get half orange chicken, half sweet chili chicken with white rice and lo mein, and it is stinking delicious. My favorite thing ever is the sweet chili chicken. It's spicy and sweet at the same time, and it has pineapples in it. Tonight we decided to curl up on the couch for dinner, and if you ask me what my idea of a perfect night was, it would look a lot like this. If I have my Christmas tree and my Chinese takeout and Will, I'm a happy girl. But once we were finished with dinner, I moved into the bedroom to get a small load of laundry folded. Will had to get some homework done anyways, and if I tackle a small load every day, I can avoid having to fold a huge mound on the weekend. And so I really don't mind doing that at night. It's kind of relaxing, and I'm also being productive at the same time, so it's a win-win. Let me know in the comments below if you have not even started your Christmas shopping yet. I have not bought one single gift and I do this to myself every single year. And then I panic shop all the way up until Christmas. So I don't know when I'm gonna learn, <laughs> but I did do some online shopping on this night to find Christmas gifts. And then I decided that at this point I shouldn't risk buying anything online. So this weekend, Will and I are braving the stores to get all of our shopping done. There's nothing like a stressful day of holiday shopping the weekend before Christmas but we will get it all done one way or another and I'm just really excited about Christmas this year because I peeked at my weather app today and it said that it's supposed to snow on Christmas Eve so I'm really hoping and praying that we get some snow we've had some flurries here and there but we need a good snow in Arkansas and how perfect would it be if it came on Christmas Now that I have that load of laundry done, I'm just gonna head back into the kitchen to make a glass of hot chocolate. We have a really sweet lady that works in the office at school who makes delicious hot cocoa. So I'm just gonna be heating up some milk and pouring her mix in there. And she told me to put several big scoops. So I'm just gonna put a few heaping spoonfuls of the mix into the milk. So it's gonna look like I'm putting a ton in there, but it tasted so good. 
and then I'm just gonna top it with some mini marshmallows and Christmas sprinkles and then once I get that all made up I'm gonna go into the bathroom I'm gonna run a bubble bath I love a good bubble bath with hot chocolate and Christmas music in the winter it's one of the best ways to unwind at the end of the day I found that cute little jar of sprinkles at TJ Maxx and I'm about to get really heavy handed with it. <laughs> Put way too many sprinkles in there, but it was still delicious. And I was just gonna say real quick, stay tuned until the very end of this video because I'm gonna share with y'all a funnel cake recipe and it tastes just like a carnival or a state fair funnel cake. It's so delicious. And we're just gonna put a little Christmas twist on it. I've always been one to just grab whatever bubble bath that I could get my hands on. I didn't care what brand it was or anything like that. But now that I've used this Epsom brand, I will never go back. It is so good. I have really sensitive skin and so every time I would use any kind of bath bomb or bubble bath, my skin would like break out or have a reaction. And so this is the only one that doesn't do that. And it also smells really good. And this is the lavender scented one and lavender is known for helping reduce stress and anxiety. So perfect for a long hard day. So I'm gonna go ahead and link the Epsom bubble baths down below just in case you wanna check them out. Here I'm just throwing my hair into a bun on the top of my head because I wasn't going to wash it on this night and I just wanted it out of my way. And here in just a second we're going to step out of the bubble bath because I couldn't take y'all with me of course. And I'm just going to throw on some socks and head out into the living room. I wanted to give myself a little pedicure on this night or just at least paint my toes because it had been way too long since I did that. And for some reason, every single time that I go get my nails done, I'm in a rush and hurry. And they always say, do you want a pedicure? And I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't. I don't have time. So I'm just going to make time tonight to do that and just spoil myself. And by the way, I picked up that Maybelline Fast Gel Polish. And that stuff is incredible. It dries super fast and it dries hard. So really good nail polish. And we will be all ready for Christmas. Okay, it is time to make these funnel cakes and y'all these are so delicious you got to save this recipe I found it on Pinterest and I will link it down below but you have everything you need to make it already in your house I guarantee you you just get two separate bowls and you mix the dry ingredients and the wet and then you mix them together it's that easy all you need is flour sugar baking powder salt milk and eggs and vanilla and then of course the vegetable oil to fry it and then the powdered sugar to put on top but this was so so easy like I said before I'm gonna link it down below so that y'all can try it too and once you get this batter all mixed up what I did is I just poured it into a Ziploc baggie and then cut a hole in it to make it easy to pour into the pan and make a design but you can probably do that several different ways that's just the way that I chose to do it and it worked out really well
Here is the finished product. These were the perfect amount of crispy and soft and they had the best flavor. And now I'm just gonna bring it in the living room to enjoy it while I watch another Christmas movie, Santa Claus 3. And then after I hang out there for a bit, I'm gonna go ahead back into the bathroom to wash off my makeup and scrub my face and go to bed. I always scrub my face with the St. Ives Apricot Scrub at the end of the day just to make sure all of the makeup is out of my pores and all of the junk is out of my skin. And then after that I will go in with this simple micellar water and a cotton ball and then just rub down my face with that and make sure all of the makeup is gone. And then once that's done I just go in with the Cetaphil Facial Moisturizer and this just works so well for me at the end of the day. It makes my face feel so clean and ready for bed. And then I'm just gonna brush my teeth real quick and then we're gonna head into the bedroom. I'm gonna turn off the lamps and it is officially time for bed. There is no better feeling than going to bed with everything done and having time to relax. It's such a good feeling, but I always plug my phone in across the room so that I get up in the morning to turn it off. And that is pretty much it for my cozy Christmas night routine. I hope y'all enjoyed and got some inspiration to set aside time for you to relax and enjoy the Christmas season. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you early next week with a last minute Christmas get it all done video. Bye.